Well, here we are, back in my little alcove, where I haven't been able to spend much time at lately. I ordered my, I ordered, well, I ordered a bunch of Evercade stuff recently, and the first Evercade item has arrived, and I'm excited about it. Let's take a look. And this is actually used. It is, I think, the only one that I have coming that is used. Ah... The Worms Collection. It's small. The box is smaller than I would have thought. Let me see if I can dig up a, 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 like a Sega Genesis cartridge here for comparison. Yeah, here we go. It is almost exactly the size of an NES game. Almost exactly. All right, let's take a look at the cartridge. Okay, Worms Collection 1. I like it. It's printed right on the plastic, not just like a sticker. That's a sticker. That's really cool. We have our little... I think that was in like this. And then we got uh, a book and a poster, I guess. Yeah. So the thing about the Evercade uh, cartridges is that almost every single one contains several games. I, I, I know of only one that only has one game, and that's a platformer that's in pre-release right now. So this has, um, let's see, uh, Worms Armageddon, which is the big one. That's the reason to buy this cartridge. That's the big party game. Um, I played Worms Armageddon on the PS1 with my family. Played it with my wife a little bit before we had kids. On the left, we have the original Worms, which uh, I got into the series after that one. So I know a couple of people who remember it fondly, but it's a little primitive for me. And on the right, we have Worms Blast, which I've had on Steam for ages. That's like a vertical puzzle game, but it uses worm physics. And the first time I played it, I didn't think much of it. I thought it was kind of dumb, but I played it. Uh, after I ordered this cartridge, the Steam version, because yeah, I was psyched about getting an Evercade cart. And you know what? I had fun with it. Let's see if there's, you know, if there's a picture of it down there. Yeah, you can see you can see the worm in the boat in the middle. And he's shooting upwards. And the shooting essentially functions like Puzzle Bobble. You're matching the colors. But instead of shooting the bubble in, um, in a direct line of uh, trajectory, like in, bubble bo in uh, Puzzle Bobble, you have you have to deal with like wind and and worms bazooka physics. So there you go. So there's Worms Collection One. Um, on top of this, I have ordered both of the um, Duke Nukem cartridges, Duke Nukem One and Two. I've also pre-ordered the uh, what is it called? The computer, the family computer one, the one that has like the newly created uh, Commodore sixty four and Amiga games and stuff on it. Um and. I think that's it. I was involved in a in a big auction for a lot of games that I lost out. So yeah, it's it's uh, those three plus this. That's a lot. And the actual unit I got is the the Taito handheld with the tiny screen. So um, if I end up uh, getting really into it, then I'll probably get um, the console so I can play with my family because this is a party game. I can tell this this is not going to be this is not a great game to sit with your handheld and play by yourself. Uh, you can, but what the worms always shined with people. It was a great party game, so great game to have uh, if you're running on the console. So there there it is. Uh, this is my my first uh, step into the world of of Evercade. Which I honestly I didn't think I'd ever do, um, but those those little handhelds, the tiny little handhelds with with um, <clears throat> built-in games, that's what got me to make the jump. And the Taito handheld in particular has Space Invaders on it. And on the Discord, I've been involved in a Space Invaders high score battle with Hemrock, and my oldest son played this tonight, and he registered a score. So the three of us are are fighting it out, and it's just been great. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you guys are having a good evening, and I'll see you in the next one.